Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel and I do hope you consider subscribing before you leave. So today I'm going to be reviewing the new I Am Magic Foundation and Concealer by Juvia's Place. So I'm really excited to show you guys this video. They just came out with this foundation and concealer. I believe it launched um, last week, I think on the 22nd, somewhere around there. I could be wrong but right when it did come out I did go on the website and purchase and I did try to do a lot of research before I purchased my color I mean my shade match um, the website has a really good picture that shows all of the different shade ranges they have the mediums they have the tans they have the deep and they have the light shades and I also did look at the swatches on the trend mood page on Instagram as well as Juvia's place um, Instagram page so just do your research you should know what shade you are but like you want to do your research I didn't find anybody on YouTube who had done my color that I picked um, until today which it's my Ray Ray posted it and she did do the same color that I have I'm gonna show you how it applied and how it wore throughout the day and I will get into that I was pretty happy because it covered my rosacea and that was the biggest thing for me because when I'm finding a foundation it does have to be full coverage to cover my rosacea but I will get into all that before I do I just wanted to talk about um, the product and the price range so this is the foundation tube that it comes and it's an ounce one fluid ounce which is pretty standard for foundations it does claim uh, to be full coverage which it does say on the bottle and the color that I got was Aruba 510 this is a medium shade with golden undertones the price of this is $20 for this foundation tube and then for the concealer I got number 18 and there is 0.34 fluid ounces. The bottle is kind of fatter, um, so I don't know, but the it, it just looks like it has a lot of product in there, but it is pretty big, but I guess it's not um, a full ounce. I thought it was a full ounce. So the um, price rate, price for this, it retails for $14. So all together, I paid $34 for the both of these, and I'm pretty happy. They um, Juvia's Place has always been kind of a cheaper brand to me but their quality is always so great if you own any of their eyeshadow palettes you know that they have good quality for a great price now, let me just get right into um, how it applied and then how it wore throughout the day okay we are up close and personal now you can see all of my redness like all of it all that beautiful redness so I am going to prime with this faced primer primed and peachy so yeah, this is like a, I don't know, I don't know what kind of primer it is. It's a primer for your face. I'm going to just put that on like my cheek area, my forehead, my chin, my nose. This is the real me guys without makeup. Super fugs. You can kind of see the color here. I'll put it out on my hand. So I'm going to start with that much and just dot it on. Everywhere. Sorry, I'm using my mirror behind this camera. So I'm kind of looking off. Okay, so there's still like a little bit on my hand. And I'll just use my beauty blender to start blending that in. And right away you can see the coverage I know like compared to my redness this just looks like really weird like the color may not even match but we'll just go with it for now I got all that makeup on my earring ew but right away like you can see the difference between my skin the redness and then how it just covered right up and this this does oxidize a little bit I've noticed so it is more of a golden color and I feel like my undertones are not so golden. Um, I'm more like a neutral undertone so just so you know if you are getting this color. So you can see the difference here. Um, this is the side with the foundation and then this is the side without foundation. Super red and stuff. So yeah that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And I am going to put a little bit more. It 
it looks super full coverage but I have to say when I'm like putting it patting it in or blending it in or whatever it doesn't feel really cakey um, it, the coverage feels light and my skin doesn't feel you know how like so with some matte foundations your skin can feel start feeling really tight when you put on a matte foundation mine does not feel like that now we're gonna jump into the found or the concealer the color I got was number 18 if you put these two together they're basically the same size I like um, the applicator on it it's very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape and my Makeup Revolution so and I just swipe it on so I'm gonna do that um, now I'm gonna conceal under my eyes here and I did use this also to oh I put way too much yeah you got to be careful with this applicator because it can really cake it on there but it is like it is a really light formula it's not as thick as I thought it would be I thought the color match was pretty good so we'll just blend this out and I do bring it up above onto my eyelid because I like to use that as a base for my eyeshadow so yeah a little bit does go a long way I really didn't even need as much as I put on but sometimes I get heavy-handed with the with the makeup and it blends out really easily I mean like a few taps and it's it's done and it's kind of weird because the the foundation it dries down really matte and I feel like the concealer is like more of a dewy finish so it's a little bit different Okay, there is that everything on. I'm going to go ahead and set it while it's fresh here. So just pat out underneath. And I'm actually using this um, Cody Airspun. So this is the Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. So I'm just going to try and tap out all the lines. Okay, now I'll set the nose, forehead, and then I do set like my cheeks because these can get really oily by the end of the day. So I'm going to set my cheeks, chin, around the mouth, just basically my whole freaking face, set my whole face. And I do like to put a little bit on my eyes so that I can blend my eyeshadow out. I do my eyes. Um, so I figured why not use my Juvia's palette, Juvia's Place palette. Um, this is the Magic palette. This is the only palette I have from them. I've had it for, I think when it, since it first came out. Oh, it's all on my nails. Um, so these are the colors here. And I'll probably just do like maybe this shadow with this one or one of the neutral stuff. Or maybe these two because I'm not going anywhere special today. So... I'm gonna do my eyes and then I will come back okay my foundation every I mean my eyes are done so I did let it bake the whole time um, I probably didn't really need to like I said this is a matte foundation but I just got too into doing my uh, or my um, eyes and everything that I kind of forgot and just let it sit so but it wasn't that long maybe like 10 minutes so I'm just gonna brush that off now and I feel like I always look super like washed out after I bake so I'm just gonna put some color back into my face I'm gonna use my um, LA colors palette to just kind of chisel out the cheeks and bronze it up a little bit I don't really like I don't really like to contour but I do like to bronze my face and that's just how I like it plus I don't really have like a like a contour color all of my um like I even have a contour stick and it's 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 warm it's like bronzer but I like it that way I like how it looks on my skin and that's just how I like to do my makeup so I'm just trying to show you how um this blends in well with other or how this blends in with your other face makeup because that makes a difference too and I'm kind of going a little too hard on the bronzer whoops 
get that double chin. Okay, now we're gonna do some blush. So I have this e.l.f. blush, it's a cream blush. Um, I used it in my other video where I did the NYX tinted skin veil, whatever. So I do use a brush and I just kind of follow that same line. What is on my, oh, that's just my, the, I follow that same line where my contour is, just kind of go right above it. Just gonna stay with the the matte theme besides my eyes are shimmery so the spray I'm using is this um, prep and prime by Catrice and this is just spray that on this um, it's illuminating so it does kind of bring that that um, what do you call it like that dewiness back to your skin I do like that about that spray that if it's like super matte, it kind of brings that dewiness back and kind of just like freshens your face back up. So, yeah, I am pretty much done. And then I'll just kind of let you guys know, I'm gonna like finish my lips and stuff. And I'll just kind of go about my day and let you guys know how it's wearing and if it breaks down or what's going on with it. Okay, so really quick while it's still fresh, I wanted to show you what my makeup looks like in natural lighting so there already is some creasing under my under eye but that happens a lot it might be the setting powder it might be the concealer I don't know um, unless I test it with like other setting powders I kind of always get creasy right there and I am getting older so but yeah I think um, for the most part it matches me pretty good with everything said and done so this is what it looks like fresh and natural lighting right in front of my min my window <laughs> my window so yeah we'll see how it goes okay so I've had this on for about four five hours I think yeah maybe five um, so I this is my front camera so I apologize I'll try and show you but I mean this is like real no filter to make me look better than I am like I would normally use as like snap cap um, anyway so what I'm trying to say is um, around my nose here you can see it kind of built up around the corners under my eyes I still have a lot of creasing but I mean that was gonna get worse throughout the day anyways from afar it's I think it looks good but then when you start getting up close and seeing all the little things it's been a pretty warm day today and I've sweated I've cried I've been crying and I think it's held up pretty well like I didn't wipe my face obviously when I cry I like pat it dry so I think for the most part it's staying on pretty well um it's just that when you look up close you can see like every little imperfection but I feel like that would be anyways and I like that it's matte because I am an oily person and it's not really getting too my face isn't getting too oily like my nose is a little bit shiny here so yeah so far five hours in we're good okay so here is how my foundation looks this is my last check-in or whatever of the day I'm gonna go ahead and end this video but I just wanted to show you see if I can right here around my nose please don't mind my disgusting nails I ripped them off in the car they kind of like bunched up here around my nose like settled in um, under my eyes that concealer just kind of like oh, you can see all the wrinkles kind of I just look gross but I feel like I look like this all the time with any foundation any makeup that I wear and anytime that I wear a foundation I've talked about this in my my NYX um, video anytime I wear a foundation longer than six hours I look pretty gross like cakey and oily the main thing that I like about this though I don't look and I don't feel like super greasy like with other foundations it'll be like greasy and then it'll just be like coming off and I don't feel like this foundation is actually coming off my face it like I said it just settled right here in in my nose lines and then like settled into my my crease my eye creases eye wrinkles <laughs> but other than that like I really 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 love this foundation and um it is one that I will purchase again once it runs out I will want to get it again and I'll probably get the same shade I don't know if I'll change um, 
I think the shade works pretty good on me. So all in all, I would give this maybe a, I would say it's an eight out of 10 because I haven't found a 10 out of 10 product that I liked or a foundation that I like. So I'd say eight out of 10 because I really like it and it is something that I wanna use all the time. So that's my final thoughts on this foundation. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you got to this far, you're a real one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.